Hey there folks, welcome back for day 10 of the 30 Days of Banjo. What you just heard me play is a new song that we're going to work on called Cripple Creek. Now, Cripple Creek is an old fiddle tune that goes way back, further back than bluegrass and bluegrass banjo, but it's a really common tune in the bluegrass world, so it's a good one to learn. You can hear it on the Foggy Mountain Banjo album from Earl Scruggs. Now, what's great about this tune is that it uses all techniques that we've already looked at, just in slightly different contexts. So, today we'll look at this version of the tune, and then we'll work on some new techniques that we can apply to this tune and other tunes that we're going to learn in this series. So, for now, let's just go through measure by measure for this version of Cripple Creek. It starts with a pinch and a slide. We take our middle finger and put it on the second fret of the first string. Then we're going to pinch two outside strings. And we're going to slide up to the fifth fret. And we're going to do that slide pretty quickly. Great. Then we just have another pinch in the same position. And then we just play the first string and the second string. Sounds like this. Great. The following measure starts with this little forward roll pattern here. That's the fifth string, second string, first string, and back to the fifth string. And we're holding this C shape that we have from Boil That Cabbage Down. We're just doing that again. Then just the open first string, and then a pinch. So let's hear that first two measures all back to back. Great. Now we've got this sliding lick that we've already seen before. Then we've got another alternating thumb pattern where it goes from the third string, the second string, down to the fourth string, second fret. Do that with your middle finger. And then open first string. Again, that's third string, second string, fourth string, first string. So that whole measure all together. This is an example of these roll patterns not using necessarily the same strings that we're used to. We've already played this pattern on the third, second, fifth, first, but in the second half of this measure, it's third, second, fourth, first. It's really the same thing, it's using the same fingers, so it should feel familiar. We just have to be used to adjusting for different strings to make different musical statements. So again, that measure is this. Okay, now here's an example of that very same thing using a different roll pattern. Remember in the second measure of this example of Cripple Creek, we did our forward roll pattern. And then an open note and a pinch. Well, this last measure is exactly the same, just using different strings. Instead of doing this C shape, we're going to do the fourth string, third string, first string, and then fifth string. Again, that's fourth, third, first, fifth. Then an open G string. That's the third string and a pinch. All together, that's. So to put all of that together, sounds like this. Okay, so I don't think that's too complicated, and for some of you that might be really easy, but it is a new tune and it's using some of these techniques in different ways. So this is all the new information that we need for this lesson, which means this is most of what we want to practice. I think you should continue to play Boil That Cabbage Down just to be more familiar with it and get used to those techniques, but I think you should focus on this version of Cripple Creek. And in terms of practicing this stuff, it's the same as the previous lessons and the future lessons. You want to go as slowly as you need to to play everything cleanly, clearly, and evenly spaced. That said, you do want to be increasing the speed, so push your limits, but don't exceed them. Beyond that, your featured banjo player for this lesson is Terry Bauckham, another one of my favorite banjo players. Terry is known for playing with bands like Boone Creek, Quicksilver, Blue Ridge, uh, Third Time Out. There's a lot of bands that he's been involved with, so enjoy the playlist that I've put down in the description. And if you don't mind, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for this lesson. I'll see you tomorrow for day 11 of the 30 Days of Banjo. Bye.